Halloween is coming, and uh, last week we did the what was it? The skull skull band bracelet. So doing a little fun one today. We're doing the paracord skeleton. So um, this was inspired by a picture I saw on Facebook. Um, I will put the link or the name of the person. Well, put your first name and your last initial in case you don't want your full name out there. But I'll put that down in the description. Um, so uh, you, sir, thank you for sharing that and kind of inspired me to do my own version. It's not perfect, but I think it's a fun little one that uh, the kids would definitely enjoy. So this is kind of just like a yeah, paracord skeleton keychain kind of thing. I think if you made a bunch of these and you handed them out uh, alongside the candy and stuff, that would be awesome. Or you could just decorate your, you know, whatever, your backpacks and other stuff with this. But uh, yeah, it's just a paracord skeleton and we've got a nice um, Schmuckatelli bead. You can use any sort of uh, other plastic skull beads if you want. You don't have to use um, something a bit more pricier like this. Not that they're overly expensive, but you know what I mean. You can use cheaper skull beads too. So this is what we'll be doing. Um, yeah, I just want to get this out before Halloween on Monday. We might have a uh, special, th another special Halloween themed tutorial coming out on Monday, but uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, so this is what we're doing today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I got my paracord ready here. Now this looks kind of weird because I've got a black piece joined to two separate white pieces. Um, just because I want a black accent up top like earlier I showed you, but if you don't want that, you could just use one singular long piece. And I believe in total, this is about uh, 22 inches. Um, but this can all vary. There's nothing too precise here. So got my bead. This is the, um, what is this one called? The Rose Skull by Schmuckatelli. And a really great tip to getting these beads um, onto paracord to get your piece of micro cord or just any sort of thin cord. You can even use the inner strands for from the 550. You want to loop it over like this. Okay. And then from here, you can put these two through here and pull. Let's get this in the middle first. And pull paracord through like that. See, nice and easy. So um, you can use any skull bead you have as long as the opening is wide enough to fit a couple strands of 550 through. I believe the diameter of this, um, the hole in the skull bead is about five millimeters. Okay, so, um, and if you don't have, you know, a bead that can fit that, you can use thinner cords. Anyways, here we go. So what are we doing first? So we're gonna start uh, creating the bottom half legs of the, uh, skull or the skeleton. So we're going to start by tying a single snake knot down here. So I'm going to take the left behind the right, bring this one over here, go through this opening here, like that. And now we're going to tighten that, I'd say right about there, okay, because that's where our the rib cage part will start where the black is. Okay, so let's do that now. Uh, after this singular snake knot, it's really easy. Actually, what we can do is just tie like a kind of a regular overhand knot, you call it, or like when you're tying your shoelaces, just uh, over like that. Let's kind of untwist this. Uh, so you want one strand going out the other way like that. Okay, so that was just a single kind of shoelace knot or overhand knot. So we have that there. So from here now, we're gonna make the, uh, the hip bones, the knee bones, and the ankle bones. Kind of reminds me of that song. Don't worry, I won't sing again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna take this cord and put this through here. We're just tying these simple kind of overhand knots to make that kind of joint. And then you kind of just manipulate the knot and move it up to where you want to get it to be. So let's put that right there. That's, that's one side. And let's do them concurrently just to keep our length the same. Let's make a loop, put that through. I'm not too worried about, you know, having all the knots look completely perfect. I mean, it's just a little skeleton thing, right? So, so there we have our kind of hip bones. So now 
let's do the knee. So again, same knot. I think that's that's good there. You can kind of play around with the, the lengths and the uh, sections. You can make him like a mini skeleton if you want. Okay. So there's the knee bones, and then let's do the ankles. Depending on how you tie the knot, though, um, see his, his legs are looking kind of weird right now. Um, you might want to, maybe I will change that. I might mess around with that to get the, the legs to point straight down. But anyways, you get the point of what I'm doing, right? And then now for the last one, for the ankle, it's getting a little shorter. So it might be a little harder, but you can always give yourself more paracord to uh, make this easier. Okay, there we go. That's one leg. We have to redo this one actually. Okay, so I've got that there. And uh, if you're not satisfied with the legs uh, the way they are, just kind of play around with the knots, get them to point in the direction you want. And we have to trim this because his foot on this right side is a bit too large. Uh, I'm going to make that even, so now we can do the main torso part. So now we're going to take our other piece of paracord, which is about 20 inches or so. Now remember this black part here? We're going to face the skeleton this way. Okay, and we're just going to tie some cobra knots. I kind of like the, uh, the black accent on the cord because um, it'll show up behind this paracord here and then you can kind of see like the gap there like you know there's you can move this out of the way a bit if you want so it's like you know when you look at a skeleton and there's you can see the gaps in the ribs that's kind of cool right maybe <laughs> so that's one cobra knot and let's tie another one I'm sure we're all very familiar with the cobra knot at this point and then we can do three i'll do three cobra knots Okay, so you can see where we're going with this guy. I think he's starting to form up. <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing with the uh, arms and legs. We're going to um, tie our knots to make our joints. I'm going to start with the shoulder. I'll just do one side, and then uh, you can figure out the rest on your own. So there's one. We tie another one for the elbow. And the last one for the wrist or the hand. Okay, so that one came out pretty well. So you can see him forming. We're gonna we have to play with this uh, leg a bit. It looks kind of weird, but so I'm gonna do that on the other side, and then you can snip and singe the paracord where you want it, and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. I'm done. So I snipped and singed off all the excess, and I was able to get the leg kind of okay, but it's okay. His uh, imperfect posture gives him character, right? What do you think? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, just a f nice little simple fun tutorial for you guys today. Nice little Halloween project. You know, I think this would be fun for the kids for sure. And uh, you probably don't have to use um, such pricey beads. So you can probably get, uh, not that these are ex overly expensive, but uh, you can probably find some cheaper plastic ones. Um, if I find some uh, decent ones, some links, I will for sure put them in the description down below. Okay, so that is it for today, guys. Um, yeah, I think this will probably be the last... Uh, Halloween project we'll be doing, although, because I do upload on Monday, and Monday is um, Halloween, could have a very special Halloween project coming for that day. We'll see. Alright, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below. Back to you as soon as I can, and I remember anything and everything that I use in this video, you can find through my affiliate links in the description down below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you on the next one.